A river of lava is spreading across Hawaii's Big Island as the flow from Fisher 8 begins to show signs of becoming unstable, with no end in sight for the eruption of the Kilauea volcano. Kilauea has been in an eruptive phase since May 3rd, with more than 650 homes, including a property belonging to Big Island Mayor Harry Kim, destroyed so far, and more than 2,000 people evacuated. Residents are also having to contend with noxious vapors known as Vaughan Lays, which result when gases from the volcano react with sunlight and seawater respectively. A spokesman for Hawaii Volcano Observatory, HVO, said, Early this afternoon observers reported multiple overflows occurring along both sides of the main lava channel, in an area extending from near the Y intersection at Pahoiki Road eastwards to an area just west of Kapoho Crater. Overflows on the upper part of the channel did not extend beyond areas previously covered in lava. Overflows further down the channel have reached beyond the flow field, including one flow lobe that is moving northeast from the main channel towards Cinder Road. Residents are urged to heed warnings and notices from Hawaii County Civil Defense. The spokesman said based on observations from people at ground level as well as overflights the lower part of the main lava channel from Fisher 8 had undergone significant reorganization, he added. In particular, the channel that had been open near Four Corners is now mostly crusted over, and plumes from ocean entry are significantly reduced. It is likely this is due to a blockage that formed in the early morning in the main channel upstream of Kapoho Crater. Flow volumes coming out of Fisher 8 remain significant, and it is possible that changes in flow channels will continue to occur in the coming days. He said HVO field crews were on site monitoring the situation and reporting their findings to Hawaii County Civil Defense. Observations are also collected on a daily basis from cracks in the area of Highway 130, which has been badly damaged by law flows. No changes in temperature, crack width, or gas emissions have been noted for several days. The spokesman warned, volcanic gas emissions remain very high from Fishers 8 and 22. Continuing trade wind conditions are expected to bring bog to the southern and western parts of the island of Hawaii.
there's a volcano. There's trees on 